In this video, I show you how to set up MSI Afterburner to show on-screen display as I've done just like this. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end of the full steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on my desktop, but let's go and continue with this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome, but you can use any one you'd like. And then you want to come to a search engine and I'm using Google. So all you want to do is simply go and search for MSI Afterburner, of course, but do keep watching I'm showing the full setup guide. So go and search for MSI Afterburner. Now do make sure you come to the official website as this is going to be completely legitimate. If you're downloading it from a third party website, it may not be. So what you want to do is come up and download Afterburner just like so, and it's going to go and drop the download just down here. All we want to do is wait for it to finish downloading. In the browser I'm using, it goes and puts the downloads at the bottom of my browser, but if yours doesn't, it's going to be in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. So you want to go and locate that file, you may need to go in your file explorer, but I'm going to go and drag this onto my desktop just like so, and come and close off Chrome. So then all you want to do is go and double click on the zip file. I personally have no zip file opener, this is just a default window. So go and double click on it just like so, and I have to drag this over, and here we go. So then once you've opened your file explorer, all you want to do is come and drag this MSI Afterburner setup out of it, which is an exe file, I'm gonna go and drag it onto my desktop just like so. And then it's gonna go and export it, and then all I'm gonna do is go and double click on it just like so. And then you're gonna go and get a Windows security pop-up, which unfortunately my computer does not record. But let's go and follow through with this installer, so I'm gonna go and choose English okay and then I'm gonna go and click next then make sure you go and read through this and agree to it which I just did so I'm gonna go and click I accept and go and click next then you want to go and install both of these which are already take by default as you can see it's only 65 megabytes so and click next again you can go and choose a destination folder and then you just want to go and click install then as you can see it's now going to do it so I'll catch up with you once it's finished and it took a few minutes but then I actually got this reverb tuner set up as well by not clicking anything you just have to be patient so make sure you go and agree to the license agreement and then go and click on next then choose what you want it to be and go and click install once again that did actually take a few minutes, so do be patient and just wait. Personally, I'm gonna turn off the show README and just have to run MSI Afterburner and go and click Finish. Then hopefully MSI Afterburner is gonna launch just like this. So as you can see, here it is, and here is this awesome piece of software. So all we're gonna do is come to the left-hand side and you want to go and locate the settings cook, which is just here. Then we're gonna go and get this MSI Afterburner properties. A really key setting to also use is under general and you want to come under general properties and I recommend having it start with Windows as then every time you go and jump into a game when you restart your computer or start it, it's gonna be there. Otherwise you've got to go and open it up every time and also start it minimize as well as then it's not gonna be in your way when you're trying to use your computer. And then what you want to do is go and locate monitoring. So come on the top tab and select monitoring. Then all you want to do is come and look for this graph section here. So once you've clicked it and you still want it to go and show in your on-screen display, you need to go and highlight it so it's blue and then come down to here, it says frame rate graph properties and make sure you've gone and selected show in on-screen display and then make sure text is selected and once again, make sure red is selected as well. And then you want to go and repeat this process for anything else you want to be shown. For example, RAM usage, then go and click on it and go and click on show in on-screen display, make sure text is selected and show in tray icon as well and then do this for as many as you'd like. Then once you've gone and finished that, you then want to go and click apply just like so. And then if you want to go and change the color of the on-screen display, click on those three dots just to the right of it here. And then as you can see, you've got all of these different colors which you can go and choose. Simply go and click on it and you can change it to any color you'd like. And then just make sure you go and click apply and press okay and it's all gonna be saved. Here I am in Minecraft, and as you can see in the top left, we've now gone and got the statistics of the ones which I selected. And of course, you can go and add as many as you'd like from that list I showed you. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.